Okay, good evening everybody and uh, welcome to JFAR Ignite training on Jeunesse, your first month in Jeunesse. This is part two of our training. We, we ran one last week. Um, so if you haven't had a chance to listen to that, then please do try and get hold of that. That gave an overview of all the different areas that you need to be thinking about as you start your career as a network marketer in the Jeunesse Global Business. Uh, my name is Natalie Turner. I'm a Jeunesse distributor based in uh, Malaysia and Singapore. I'm from the UK, but I've been living out in Asia for the last five years. Myself and my husband, Carl Hines, came across Jeunesse through um, a good friend of ours um, in Malaysia, um, Angela and Blackie Gibson. And um, that was about six, seven months ago. And it's been a real whirlwind of learning and discovery ever since then. Uh, well, neither of us are network marketers, so we've had a lot to learn. And we are really enjoying, actually, uh, training and passing on the knowledge that we're learning. They say a great way to really learn is to teach others. So um, we do encourage you to do the same. Just to give you a little bit of background to myself and Carl, we are entrepreneurs. We run our own innovation company here in, in Singapore. And uh, we've been looking for a second business for quite a while because we wanted to create a second income stream that wouldn't be so dependent on project-based work. And when we came across Jeunesse Global, we thought this was the ideal opportunity. So tonight we're going to look at compensation and goals. And before we do that, I just want to check in on you, particularly those that were listening in last week, to see if you have done your homework. Um, your homework from last week was to try and attain executive status if you haven't done already, and that is by enrolling two people or above. Uh, make your list of uh, prospects, people that you think might be interested in Jeunesse, and qualify them. If you remember, we had two lists, work on your 10 best and your 10 easiest. And um, do go back to the, the, uh, the first training to actually look at how you qualify your prospects. Uh, the whole intent is to pique curiosity, to send some information, not to give them the whole story initially. And then particularly in the beginning, if you're just starting out in this business, to really get us involved or your upline involved or other people that know a bit more than you so that you can learn how the process works, learn about the products, learn about the business opportunity and um, introduce them into the business that way. If you're fortunate enough to be in an area where you're, there are regular presentations, then, then that is obviously a great way to, to get people interested as well. And one of the things that we will start doing soon is a webinar opportunity presentation so that you can actually invite people in like we're doing now, but we won't be necessary. We won't be training. We'll be taking people through the opportunity. So you can just say, look, got a great opportunity. Please come listen with me um, you know, on Thursday night, whatever it might be. And they can hear about the business that way. Last week, uh, if you remember, for those of you that were, that were listening in, uh, Carl took us through the top sort of areas to really be aware of when you're starting out in Jeunesse. You want to get off to a good start, and it is up and down in terms of you know, starting anything new in life, and I think it's a really good to be aware of that right at the beginning. So what we're going to do now in the trainings that follow from today forwards is go a bit deeper into these different areas. And tonight we're going to look at learning the compensation plan. It's good in any job to know um, how you're going to get paid. And also look at goals, because goals are absolutely critical for helping you drive your own business and develop your own business, develop your own teams. To have a really clear sense of direction and where you want to go is, is really important. You know, you do need to be self-starters um, in this type of work. It's not like you have a boss or anyone sort of saying you've got to be doing this and that. We're not your boss. Um, if we're your upline, we are your business partners. We're working in a team together and uh, we are accountable to each other because the only way to really succeed in Jeunesse is within a team environment. So the whole purpose is to build really powerful, effective teams and to share information and duplicate the system 
so that we continue to, to grow as people and to achieve our goals. So the compensation plan, what we're going to learn tonight, I'm going to take you through what the financial rewards plan is and uh, what the ranks are, how you progress through the ranks, what the financial rewards are at each rank, um, some of the different uh, terms that is used within Jeunesse, like CVs and CAVs, what the six levels of income are within the compensation plan. One of the, the reasons that we got involved, I mean, we started off as product users, but not for very long. It was only four weeks, I think, that we actually realized that there was a really good business model behind Jeunesse. Uh, we liked, loved the products, and then we thought, wow, this is, this is really uh, a very, very elegant system. So I like talking about this uh, business model because I am an innovation business consultant, and I really enjoy looking at it from a business and commercial perspective. And from that perspective, I think it's one of the, the most exciting things that I've come across in the business world for a long time. So let's, um, let's go through it. And I, what I want to do is put, put it in the broader context of business per se and um, in network marketing and direct selling in particular. Okay. There is a great article, if you haven't already read it, called The Ultimate Social Business Model. Um, it was published in the Wall Street Journal a few years ago as a supplement. If you haven't got hold of it, uh, don't worry, I will stick it up on the J. Fire Ignite um, Facebook page and you can access it there. But this is a great article to give prospective business partners that you want to attract into direct selling, particularly if they don't have any real knowledge about direct selling or network marketing. But what we're really seeing is, you know, Jeunesse sits in a tradition of direct selling businesses that have been around really for over 100 years. So this isn't anything new in that sense. But what is new is that the technological advancements of social networking are really accelerating the momentum and growth of direct selling companies. Uh, so it's a very exciting time actually to be involved in the direct selling world and it is part of our learning as coming into this, particularly if we don't come from this background, to really educate ourselves about the industry and about how it works. Uh, because it is a very exciting um, a business sector to be part of. When we think of direct selling from a commercial perspective, the reason it's so successful, and a lot of these businesses do ride the downturns of recessions uh, that, that go on globally, is because they have direct access to customers with strong top-line growth. The margins that they can create are usually high, and they have ownership of their distribution channels to, to the marketplace. A lot of um, direct selling businesses can offer premium prices, so their, their prices, they don't end up in price wars so much, so there's less commoditization of, of what they're selling. And they're able to have very strong cash flow uh, with low ongoing capital investment. If we think of traditional business, most of the business costs of running an organization go on um, employment, employment costs. So with Jeunesse, what, one of the reasons it is, is so successful and so lucrative uh, for people that can get involved and make it work for them is that 60% of the business in terms of its sales is actually shared amongst its distributors. Because we're not employed by Jeunesse, we are business partners, we're coming in and we're actually acting as the sort of the interface between the product and the customer. And we can um, develop these relationships within our own networks and grow our own networks and earn money as we, as we develop and build, build the business. So the business model, uh, just from a high level perspective, is, is so powerful because uh, of these factors. So I do encourage you to just learn a little bit more about direct selling and network marketing, and um, just so that you can, you can have that in the back of your mind as to why this is such a good business opportunity right now. 
If we look at some of the, the sort of household names that we know and uh, maybe don't love, but um, we, we have Bill Gates here. You know, if I would be given a chance to start all over again, I would, I would choose network marketing. So a great endorsement from Microsoft's chief software architect. If we look at uh, Warren Buffett, great financier, very, very wealthy man, probably one of the wealthiest men on the planet. He has a financial interest in more than a dozen network marketing companies and says cash on cash return. It is the best investment I have ever made. And if you read that article in the Wall Street Journal, what you will see there is more and more investment houses, private equity houses are starting to look at the network marketing industry for investment. Now, one of the great things about Jeunesse, actually, is it's a private business. It's a family business. So there are no shareholders. They're, they're, it's a family that own this company, and they actually have complete and utter control over it. We also know that Jeunesse is um, the fastest growing direct sales company in the world, and that is set to grow and grow and grow. The business is set on a path to hit 1 billion US dollars in revenue and it's only it's less than six years old. So we're really, really lucky to have come across this opportunity right now. Um, and uh, it really is the time. The time is now in terms of really getting involved and getting busy um, and putting other things aside actually to try and really make this happen while it is still so fresh to the marketplace. So the time is now, and the Jeunesse, the economy is booming. And what is really interesting, I think, too, is that Jeunesse started in 2009. And if you cast your mind back, I certainly cast, cast my mind back. I was in England at that time, and, and, um, uh, and that was when I decided with, with Carl to come over to work in Asia, um, because the world was going through global recession. Well, as global recession was going across the world, Jeunesse opened its doors to business and it hasn't stopped ever since. So it's, it's quite exciting to, to sort of realize that this business is um, going places in terms of attracting um, you know, great people into it, but also its product range, which is so appealing to the marketplace. Here I've just got the um, sales uh, uh, um, trajectory, so you can just see how much it is growing as a company. So we just started off, just as I said, just uh, five and a half years ago, on, on set on course, really probably by uh, next year to hit $1 billion. And if it does, it will be the fastest um, growing brand in the whole of direct sales history to hit $1 billion, which is a huge accolade for the company and uh, for what they have done and the vision that they have created. So why is this all happening? What is, uh, what is really driving it? The products that Jeunesse have created, the youth enhancement system, the, integra the integration and synergy between these different products for um, inside and out, for the skin and for the, in the inside our bodies and our cells, this is the reason why this business is doing so well, because the industry for anti-aging is huge and it is growing. It is $500 billion a year and it is growing. So you can see here just the growth projections over the next few years. So if you are entrepreneurial, one thing you really want to look for is a growing market. You can be an entrepreneur or have an entrepreneurial type of nature and be in a stagnant market or a declining market, and you can be wasting all of that energy. So this is where, you know, we, when we think about opportunity and we're looking at it from a commercial perspective, we want to see, is the market growing? Because if it's growing and you get involved, you will ride the momentum and tide of that growth. So as you put your energy and your focus into it, you will ride the growth curve. So it, in a sense, you know, Jeunesse as a business has equipped us with everything we need. Great products, great distribution, a supply chain in 130 countries, you know, great marketing materials, the, you know, the J-Mobile, all the videos, everything is at our fingertips. All our job is to do is just tell people about it get them excited and get them involved, whether they want to use the products 
or whether they are interested in being builders in our team. So the anti-aging market is booming. And why is that? Baby boomers are driving the growth. Why? Because the boomers, the people that were born in the 50s and um, uh, um, early 60s, they are getting older and a lot of them have got a lot of uh, income to spend. And they want to age well. So they are investing money into health and wellness and things that are going to make them live long and live healthily for as long as they can. It's really interesting if you look back through, say, since the Second World War and you look at the different um, spurts of growth that have happened in the economy, a lot of it has been fueled by boomer income. We can look at, say, um, child care. We can look at educational services. We can look at housing. We can look at toys. We can look at all these different things since the Second World War. Boomer income has actually uh, created a lot of growth markets. And now the market is all around healthy aging. Another reason why this is such a good business opportunity is that the products are consumable. That means that they run out. And if people like them, they will rebuy them. Um, unlike other businesses which may be you know, selling cars or fridges or white goods and things like that, you, know, you only are in the market every couple of years for, for buying those types of products. But because we've got consumable products in a high growth market, it means that people will keep buying the products as long as they like them. And obviously they are liking them, otherwise the business wouldn't be doing so well. Another reason that it's a great opportunity is that we have science and technological advancements fueling global growth, both in anti-aging science and what is going on in terms of um, new discoveries, but also in social media, in connectivity, in globalization. I mean, even us sitting here tonight and um, being on this webinar is because of technological advancement that allows us to work and share information together. We are only at the tiny, tiny tip of really this, this new world, this transformation that is going to be taking place over the next 10 to 20 years. So just from that perspective alone and thinking about the innovation that Jeunesse is bringing to market, these products you can't really access in many other places. And I'm an innovation consultant, and, and I look at it and I think, wow, you know, this, if you can get in something that's growing and it has innovation behind it, and they are committed to innovation as an organization, they're going to continue to look for new science and productize it, and we can take it to market. So this is an opportunity that as you share it with people, particularly if they're business-minded, uh, that you can talk about with great pride and great enthusiasm, and, um, and, and really you know, get people um, excited to be part of your team and part of our broader team. So that's the sort of bigger picture, really, of, of the business model and, and why direct sales and network marketing, and in particular, Jeunesse, is, is well-placed for success. So what I want to do now is take you through the compensation plan um, in a bit more detail than maybe you've heard it before. And again, you can listen to this over and over again to try and understand it. It took us a while to really get our head around uh, uh, how the whole model works. Uh, but once you get it, it it's there, and you, and you start to understand how you can make money. Unlike a lot of traditional business where it's all left down to chance um, and who manages you and whether they think you're any good, and whether they're going to promote you and whether you're going to get a bonus and things like that, with Jeunesse, it's completely transparent. You know exactly what you have to do in order to get along and to make a successful business. So we've got these six different levels of income that the, that the business provides us as distributors, and I'm going to take you through them one by one. Before I do that, I just want to explain uh, what active income is and what streams of um, this compensation, place, uh, uh, compensation plan are, and then also look at passive income, or what we call residual income, because the power of this model is all around residual income. And that is the most exciting thing, to think, actually, we can start to create wealth, we can start to create 
um, business that is not just our effort, our time, but it starts to create momentum and leverage through many people working together towards a common goal. So what is active income? Active income is traditional business. It's when you sell your time for money. So you get paid by the hour, you get paid by the project, you get paid for a salary and you take home your income at the end of the month. That is active income. So we see this in wages, salaries, in, uh, for those that are self-employed, um, you know, time for money, time for money. Time for money has a limit on it because there's only so many hours you have as an individual, even if you're hiring other people, that you can, that you can leverage. But, but we do have a couple of the, um, uh, the compensation plan areas that, that are playing more to that traditional type of business, and they're the first two. So the first one is retail profit. Like any traditional business, you can earn money as a retailer. That means you can sell the products to customers who maybe don't want to get involved in the business or don't want to be a wholesale customer, and you can use your front-end website for them to buy products. So whatever they buy the product for and whatever the wholesale cost was, you get the bit in between, and you make that as cash. So that is traditional business. I think we all can understand how traditional business works. So that is the first level of compensation plan. Now, Jeunesse has recently revamped all of its um, online retail front end, um, and, and, and it's continuing to improve it. So you do have this as, as an area where you can actually globally get out into 130 countries and um, get people interested in the products just from a retailing perspective. So you have your own shop and you can earn income just as a normal retailer would do online. Now the second um, uh, sort of more active or linear type of way of earning money is a customer acquisition bonus or a CAB, C-A-B. Now when you enroll people into the business um, as a wholesale customer um, or as a, as a distributor, then they will choose a package. Each of those packages has CV or commissionable volume of um, points allocated to it. So the basic package has 100 points. If someone enrolls on a basic package, you get 25 US dollars. If someone involves, um, enrolls on a supreme package, which has more points, you get 100 US dollars and so on. So all these points will then be allocated to you as the person that enrolled them, and so will the customer acquisition bonus. Now, one of the things to, to really think about when you're starting to enroll people in the business is if they are really, really interested in business building, and sometimes people don't know whether they are or not, but if, if you're getting a sense that this person's looking for a business opportunity, you want to try and enroll them on the bigger packages. Not because you earn more money out of it, although that is very nice, but because actually it gives far, far better value for that person because the products are so much cheaper buying that way and also they have the range of products that they can start either experimenting with themselves and using or they can even sell those on um, to other people that they're meeting. So you want to be thinking when you're enrolling people, um, particularly business builders, on the higher, higher value packages um, because one, it will obviously help you, but two, it really helps them get going in terms of getting better value for money. If you think of a startup cost in a business, normally it costs thousands and thousands and thousands to start up a company. So have that type of mentality that you're thinking of actually setting up a business. And so it's when you look at it that way, it's not actually much of an investment to get going in Jeunesse. If you think of what you then get for your money. And obviously, when you're buying one of these bigger packages or people that you're enrolling are buying a bigger package, then they're getting that access to the products at a far cheaper price. So that's the second way of earning money, enrollment and a bonus, a customer acquisition bonus. 
for enrolling somebody into the business. So they are our two sort of active um, income streams. Now, this is where it starts to get very exciting and where, what um, both Carl and I were very excited about when we um, started uh, in Jeunesse. We start to look into residual or passive income. So residual or passive income is when you continue to get paid after the work is done. So you could be sitting by the swimming pool and um, sipping a pina colada and you can be looking in your J Mobile application and you can notice a 35 US dollar commission has dropped inside your account. Or you can notice your points have suddenly got up and then you've had another team commission. You can be you can be on holiday, you could be skiing down a mountain, you could be you could be doing something that's not nothing to do with Jeunesse and you will start to earn money. So it's not just time equals money anymore. You start to create leverage. And this is why network marketing is such a powerful business model. You start to create momentum in the network itself, which starts to create income for you and for everybody else. Because remember, this is all about team, team working together. So this is what we mean by residual or passive income. So let's look at what Jeunesse um, income streams are in this area. So the third level of income in the business model is what we call a team commission. So what is a team commission? And this is where it takes a while to sort of get your head around if you're not used to these types of systems or ways of working, but it is a very, very elegant system. And once you start to understand it, um, you, you can get very excited about it. So the system is a binary system. That means we have two teams. Now, when you were enrolled, um, either you were, if you were, were directly from us, you were enrolled um, either on our left-hand team or our right-hand team. Everybody is enrolled into one, either the left-hand team or the right-hand team of an individual. So the first thing you have to know is, um, which side obviously you were enrolled into. The, the side that you're enrolled into, depending on how long that person has been um, already building a business and how active they have been, will have more points um, within that team. There'll be more momentum, there'll be more people, there'll be, there'll be activity, so to speak, going on in the side that you're enrolled into. Now, on the uh, when you are then enrolled, you, so you could, in a sense, you could call that your team side. You know, it's the, the side where there's other people already in activity and you've just got, got enrolled into that activity. Now, so that is an, like an existing network that is already in place. The other side, and this is for everybody who comes into the business, has no network. That network you have to build. You are like the, um, the start of a new network. So you have one which is an existing team that you've come into and one that you're going to have to build. And that may be your left, it may be your right, depending on which side you came into. So the team commissions, how does that work? Everything works in Jeunesse on points, on product sales. So each product has points allocated to it. So for example, when a serum is sold, there are 60 points. When a box of instantly ageless is sold, there are 30 points. There are the packages on an enrollment uh, from 100 upward points. So every different product, and you can go into your back office and you can see this, all of them have points allocated to them, or what we call the CV. Now, as you start to build these, you will start to earn what we call team commissions. The, the side that you've been enrolled to, as I said, will probably be a, a stronger network, particularly at the beginning uh, when you join and you're going to have to build the other one, other network. So if you go into your back office or into your J Mobile, you can look and you can see LCV or RCV in your profile and um, it will actually tell you how many points that you may have accumulating on one of the sides, uh, the side that you've been enrolled in. So you need to start to build your network by enrolling people in your team side and then also in your new network. 
Now, as you start to accumulate points, you will start to make team commissions. Now, there are 900 points that have to be accumulated, 300 from one side, 600 from the other side or your other team, and then you make 35 US dollars. So every time that the, the 900 points um, is made within your network, you make 35 US dollars. So this is where you start to make residual income from all the product sales that are going on from you after you've joined into both of your two teams. Now, what Jeunesse does, because obviously we, the model knows that you have, are going to have a stronger side and, and a weaker side. Normally, the weaker side is the one you have to start building yourself. So they take 600 points from your stronger side and 300 points from your weaker side. 600 plus 300 equals 900. 900 equals 35 US dollars. So this is how the team commission structure works. Now, as you start to get it, uh, go into the ranks of the system, so you start enrolling people, yes, on your first line. So these are people that are directly enrolled under you. There are a number of different ranks that um, Jeunesse has created to help you, one, promote through the system, and two, develop depth into your network. Two important points to remember with network marketing. One, you want to enroll wide. That means you want lots and lots and lots of people in your top level, in your level one, we would call it. So you want to, you know, you never want to stop enrolling new people. Even diamond, double diamond directors never stop enrolling new people because you're always looking for new people, fresh people, people that might be business builders. So you, you want to look across the breadth and then obviously you want to work with your team, particularly those that want to build a business, to help them build a team. So you want to build depth in your network. So breadth and depth are key to network marketing. Now you can see there's lots of, um, you've got this um, presentation in your packs as a distributor, um, but you can see that uh, when you uh, get to Jade, and I'll go through in a, in, in a while um, what, what this all means in a little bit more detail, but you would start to earn a matching bonus on your level one. And then when you get to Pearl, you earn a matching bonus on your level two enrollments. So if you think of your network, the people you've enrolled are your level one. The people, that, um, your, the people that you have enrolled are your level two and so on. And you start to earn a bonus on their 35 US dollars. As they start to cycle team commissions, you earn an addition, a bonus on top of that. So it's not taken away from them. It's just a bonus that's given to you. This is another form of residual income. And this is a huge area particularly those that start to really work this, work this whole networking system, start to earn um, very good money and lucrative money out of this model. So let me just reiterate that. And as I said, it might take you a while if this is new to get your head around completely. Don't worry, it took us a, it took us a while too. And we're still learning and uh, there's always more to learn and more to understand. So you can see here that every time one of your personal sponsors earns $35, you earn a matching bonus. And that happens down to seven levels in your network. So as people enroll people below them in the network, you and they start to earn points, and they start to earn team commissions, you earn a matching bonus down to seven levels. This is why I'm saying going deep is important and going wide is important. Going wide is important because you're looking for builders, and of course on your level one you earn 20% um, matching bonus, and then going depth down into your network is important because you can earn residual income up to seven levels. I will send these to you, these slides, uh, so don't feel like you have to sort of get this all into your head um, right now. But I put this chart together just to, to make it um, a, bit, um, a bit more clearer in terms of what, how you qualify 
for the first levels of the um, Jeunesse compensation ranking system. So let me start at the bottom. Associates, they are people that just come into the come into Jeunesse on a starter pack. That a starter pack just means the website, the back office system. They've bought no pack. They haven't bought any products. They are called associates. They can earn retail profit and customer acquisition bonus. They don't earn points. So they don't earn any of the CVs. A distributor, which is what many of you are who are not yet executives who have come in and you bought the back office system and the product pack. Um, say you bought a basic one of 100 CVs or a bigger one of more CVs. You are a distributor. What can you earn on this um, business model? You can earn both the retail profit and the customer acquisition bonus. Plus, you can st start to earn points as products are sold in your network. Executive. Executive is when you get two distributors, one in each team. So one in your left, one in your right leg. Um, that they call it legs in this system. That's just a terminology used in the industry. But you can call it your left team and your right team, if you like. Um, so uh, one person has to be enrolled in either team. You then become an executive. You can then earn all of those other things, the retail profit, the cabs, the points. You can then turn your points into team commissions. So as you start to build your network and get more, more points being bought of products, they turn into 35 US dollars. Once you get to Jade, you need to have four executives or eight distributors. Then you have all of those um, uh, areas that I've just, just talked about below, plus you start to earn matching bonuses. So 20% of 35 US dollars is $7. So every time a first level enrollee earns a team commission, you earn an extra $7. Pearl, you need eight executives or 12 distributors. And then you start to earn at your second level in your network, which is 15% matching bonus, which is equates to $5.25. Sapphire is 12 executives. So that's 12 people, distributors that have become executives. Then you're earning at three levels into your network or an extra $3.50 at the third level. So you can see here where residual passive income will start to accumulate as you build momentum in your network. When we get to Sapphire Elite, Sapphire Elite is you have one Sapphire in your network, plus you have done 100 team cycles in a calendar month. At this point, you can probably say that you have a livable income, depending on how um, how uh, how much money you need to live a month. But uh, at Sapphire and Leach, you're probably earning around five thousand US dollars um, up, uh, so um, around that amount, because that. That is what, when you take all those commissions, you take the matching bonuses, if you're great at enrolling people on big packages, you could be earning more. So I just want to focus on these ones because this is where we probably all are at the moment in terms of where we're trying to get to in the business. But overall, what you want to be thinking about is how do you, once you get into Sapphire, Sapphire Elite, how do you then start building other Sapphires? So even if you're right at the beginning now, you want to be thinking and looking out for business builders that could be potential sapphires because you progress through the uh, ranks and you get more depth and residual income as more sapphires are created in your network. Now, there's high, high earning potential in Jeunesse. Jeunesse has created, I, I, I don't know what it is at last count, but I think it was around 50 or 60 millionaires in five years in this model. So, you know, we don't know many companies that really do that. I mean, uh, maybe some startups, um, you know, tech startups who have got share options at the beginning, they might become millionaires on a, on a sale or something like that. Um, you know, celebrities we know earn a lot of money. But actually, network marketing, if you, if you can make the system work for you and you can put the effort in, you can actually earn a considerable amount of money. 
So there is no ceiling. Unlike traditional business where you get capped and you get put into some sort of um, HR system, there is no system that stops your earning potential in network marketing. When you hit Ruby, the minimum you can earn is 10,000 US dollars a month. So Ruby is after Sapphire Elite. When you hit Emerald, which is after Ruby, the minimum you can earn is 25 US dollars a month. When you hit Diamond, the minimum that you can earn is 50,000 US dollars a month. So we, we're talking, you know, quite, quite considerable forms of income. And that can be exciting and motivating. Um, it can also make you feel, God, I'll never get there. So for now, what I'd say is let it excite and motivate you if you are motivated that way. But focus on the, the, the ranks that are going to help you move towards it. Um, so you, in a sense, you want to sort of have the bigger picture, but you also want to be thinking about how you're going to get there. Okay, so the next one, the fifth area of earning potential is, if you remember, we've got all these levels of depth into our network going down seven levels. Once you have um, five retail customers um, or preferred customers or wholesale customers, so these are people that are just buying product on a regular basis through you, after you, after you have been enrolled, you can earn an additional 5% on your level one, so 25%. You remember it's 20% on a matching bonus, you can earn 25%. If you get 10 people, and you will, you will get 10 people, we've got 23 people now in our, in our top line, you will earn 10% extra on your level one enrollees. That means every time your level one enrollee does a team commission of 35 US dollars, you get an extra 10 um, extra 30% of that. So you get 30% of that 35 US dollars. So that's another very, very powerful way of earning residual income. Now the last one, which is the bonus pool, is once you hit diamond, um, which is obviously you know up, up, up the ranks a little bit more. Um, you, the company puts aside 3% of its total, total sales value and shares it amongst its diamond directors and above. One of the great things I really like about Jeunesse, and again, from a business consultancy background, I look at it and I think it ticks all the boxes of organizational development. One, it appeals to personal ambition. It appeals, you know, if you're driven and motivated as an individual, it really does give you a no glass ceiling. You can work as hard as you can and you can really go for it. So it really does appeal to that. But it also, and you know, the high achievers in network marketing, they also know the more that everybody is creating together, the more they share. So there is a huge amount of sharing that goes on, a huge amount of collaboration, real collaboration that goes on, sharing of information, sharing of, um, of help and support amongst, amongst um, the different distributors, particularly those that are high level. So obviously as the pie gets bigger, for everybody, then there's more that is shared out. And I think that is a very motivating thing. If you're, if you're individually driven, great. If you're team driven, great. The only way to succeed is both. You have to be driven yourself and you have to work in a team. So it really does enable you to, to um, harness both of those aspects together. Obviously, Jeunesse offers up so much more. And um, I know, um, People, you know, we, we all, we, if we're looking at JFire stars and everything, you can see people are floating around the world from place to place. People have just got back from Dubai. Um, Carl and I were in Australia recently. We went to the, the convention there. Um, we've been to the convention in Malaysia and Singapore. You can earn your way around the world. You can have, live actually a five-star lifestyle through Jeunesse and um, earn your way through points and around the world. So they do offer amazing incentives on top of just the money uh, to enable you to really travel, to see the world, to do different things. Uh, the training is, is top draw and really does equip you with a completely new career where actually within just a few years you could be in a position of, um, of 
of, of being very, very comfortable financially and do other things with your life as well. So there's not many things that offer us that opportunity and uh, this is one of the reasons that I think the opportunity is such a good one. Okay, that's the compensation plan. And um, as I said, please do listen to this again. Ask us if you have any questions on that. And be But before we end, I just want to touch on goals because I think it's important to think about our goals in relation to the compensation plan and to the ranking in particular about uh, how we want to develop ourselves and uh, how much time we can put into this and, and what, what all of that means to us as individuals. You don't have a boss. There's no manager in Jeunesse. Okay, so you are your own boss. You're running your own business. Whilst we might all work together and support each other, you are responsible for yourself and for what you decide you want to do. A very important point, don't compare yourself to others. Um, unless you are really motivated and competitively motivated by doing that, then don't do it. You know, set your own goals, set your own pace, set your own vision and compare yourself against your own standards of what you want for yourself. This is all about you in terms of you thinking about what you want and then setting your own vision. So get clear on your big why. Why are you in Jeunesse? What attracted you in the first place? What, you know, what is it that's deep in with you that you think, yes, I really want this? What is it that sits behind that? So for me, it is to be free of a project-based business model where I don't have to keep going out every day and trying to generate new projects, or I always feel like I'm starting over and over again. I really want to be free of that. That is such a motivating force for me that I'm absolutely determined to succeed. Um, so that is my big why. That's why I got involved, and actually it gets bigger and bigger in me every day. Create your own compelling vision of success. What is it beyond that? You know, when you see yourself into the future, what is it that you would really like to be doing with your life? You know, this is one of the few things that you can actually say, if money were no object, what would I be doing with my life? You know, because it could be. Money could be no object quite quickly in this system, the, the more effort that you put into it. So that's a really nice one to do sometimes, just, just to take all constraints off your own thinking and say, wow, if I, if, I, if I didn't have to go out and try and earn some money and keep, have a living and things like that, what would I do? I mean, you, for those who know me well, they, you know that I want to be a writer, a fiction writer. Now, to be a fiction writer, it's very rare you make a lot of money out of that, unless you're J.K. Rowling or another, another famous writer. But it takes a lot of time and effort to do that. And to do that, you need that, you need that space. You need that creative space. So that's one of the things I'd really like to do, uh, which I find, again, very motivating to me. So think about what your personal vision is. Write it down. Pin it on the wall. Create a vision board. I run you know, vision workshops with people in the corporate world and get them to do this for themselves when they're working as teams. It's very powerful to look at images and, and think what it is that um, is really motivating you from that image and, and to, to, to create like a collage of pictures of where you might want to go in the future, what you might want to be doing. Positive self-talk, very, very important. You will hit speed bumps. You will feel like giving up. You will say, network marketing's not for me. Oh, this is too difficult. Nobody's listening to me, whatever. You will have all of that hitting you. I tell you now, if it hasn't already happened, it will happen. So what do you do when that happens in your own thinking? One of the, re the, the great things about entrepreneurship and the great um, pieces of research that people have done into what makes people successful in entrepreneurship and in life is grit, the determination to succeed against the odds, that ability to hang in there when you really, really don't feel like it, when your emotions are raging against you, you feel like giving up, you feel like quitting, you're feeling depressed, all of those emotions are hitting you. Grit is what keeps you in the game. So if you don't quit in the first few years and you manage to just keep going, keep going, even if it's just a little bit, you will, you will get through. The people that give up, of course, they're never going to win. And then what do they do? They complain and they say network marketing doesn't work. 
This works. The system is there. It's a proven system. We know it works. There's lots and lots of people benefiting from it. So the whole purpose is to really uh, focus on yourself and get, get your own vision of success clear in your own mind and then break that down into goals that are tangible and motivating for you. We can call making them smart, which I'll go through in just a moment. So go back to the rank system, and I encourage you to do this after this call or sometime in the next few days. Look at it carefully. Think about where you are and where you want to be. Think about where you want to be in at, by Christmas. So say by the end of this year, if you put the effort in, where do you think you could be on this, on this chart? And then start to think about how you're going to get there. When I say smart goals, and this is another thing we teach in the corporate world, what I mean by that is make your goals specific. What is the desired result? Make them measurable. How do you know that you're going to get there? How are you going to measure your own progress? Are they achievable? Critical component here. Otherwise, you've got this massive gap between what you want and what you have. So you've got to close the gap between your desired reality and your existing reality. Is it relevant? Is the goal in line with how, what, why you're involved in Jeunesse and the vision that you want to achieve? And what's your deadline? Make it specific. Even if you don't reach it, it doesn't matter. At least you're going for something. If you don't have goals, you will just drift. And it's really important to just set yourself some goals and just say, okay, well, I never, I never quite reached it. Let's just pick myself up and start again. This is why grit is required and tenacity, determination to succeed and hanging in there even when you don't feel like it. So closing the gap is a very, very important point. And we will be doing a lot more on this in terms of developing the skills. We need to close the gap between what we want and what we have right now. And how do we do that? A lot of it is to do with our competencies, our capabilities, our skills, the way that we think, the behaviors that we have. So think about what knowledge do you need to learn? If you don't spend any time learning anything about Jeunesse, then you're not going to develop any knowledge. Everything is there. It's so accessible. When Carl and I first joined, we probably spent two days a week, probably in hours, uh, maybe 16 hours, I don't know, 16, 20 hours, just watching video after video after video about all the products, the science, the background, the doctors, the, com the company, the compensation plan. I watched so many videos in that first month that I was a distributor. I was soaking in the knowledge and I was hungry to understand it. You need that desire, otherwise you won't have the motivation. So that's the first thing. You've got to get your knowledge up. Secondly, behaviors. What behaviors do you need to develop? What, what, in terms of how you behave and how you work, Maybe you need to get more organized. Maybe you need to think about how you're going to allocate your other jobs or your other interests and how Jeunesse is going to fit into your life. You need to start to get really serious about it. Remember the opportunity, going back to how I started this evening. Three, your, you know, your mindset. The mindset is a positive mindset, but not just positivity. Positivity with determination and skill. So you need to be thinking about, you know, what's running through your mind, that tape recorder, that recorder that goes on and tells you whatever it tells you. You know, really analyze it and think about what is the story you're telling yourself because positivity will help your emotions be higher. Emotional engagement and energy will come across to other people. What capabilities do you need to develop? Conversation talking to people, listening to people. It's all about communication network marketing. You're not selling, you're just telling people, you're piquing curiosity, you're saying, well, I've got involved in this, it's fantastic. If they're not interested, never mind. You know what, there's thousands and thousands of people, millions of people that don't know about Jeunesse, just move on. What skills do you need to capture and acquire? So this, all the different types of skills of network marketing, the ability to enroll people, the ability to train others to enroll people, the ability to build teams, all these things in a sense will help you close the gap between where you want to go and where you are now.
So we're coming to the end and I'm aware of time. It's nearly nine o'clock. Get in your homework then um, for this week is to get clear in your mind what you want to do and why you want to do Jeunesse. Think back over what I have said with regards to the big business opportunity. When we look at this from a global perspective of what's happening in the anti-aging markets, the boomer generation, technological advancement, innovation, new science, think of it in the biggest picture possible and then think of your role within that. Write down your goals and tell someone in your team what they are. This will help accountability, otherwise you can hide them away and then no one knows and no one can support you. That could be us, it could be a friend, it could be a colleague. Use the smart sheet. Sit down with the smart sheet, map it out. Carl and I have done this and we're very clear about where we want to get to and in what time frame. Reach out for the support you need to close this gap. More training, there's so much you can self-train as well. I just saw tonight, if you go into your, um, your email from Jeunesse, They've just launched a professional personal development service for Jeunesse distributors. I think it's $2.95 a month. And you get videos and access to motivational speeches, to all the different types of training material, and that's just hot off the press today. There is tons and tons of material available to help equip you, motivate you, and, and help you be a success in this business. Continue peaking ex, um, interest and enrolling and include us or include your upline or other people who know uh, or have been doing it a little bit longer so you can learn, 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 learn and absorb the information. And, um, and then that will help you to bridge this gap between your desired reality and your, um, your uh, current reality. So... We have come to the end of the um, presentation. I'm going to stop the recording now and uh, open, unmute you so that you can, any questions that you have, you can ask before we finish tonight. Thank you very much for listening. And I hope this has been useful to you. And um, I wish you all the best and look forward to talking to you soon.